more popular requests, I am doing a shopper drop for the new ABH holiday palette. You guys seem to really be enjoying these videos. And I almost wasn't going to do it, but I decided to because... I do have some thoughts. So I'm going to head over to the ABH Instagram page and we are going to watch the very first promo that ABH released to the world. Okay, let's go ahead and play this. Rich metals, luxe color, and all the nostalgic glam. Introducing Rose Metals, a brand new featuring 12 ultra pigmented mattes and high reflect shimmers. Grunge never looked so good. This will give you all moody vibes you'll need for fall. 12 super pigmented shadows, almost 200% more of every shade than in the original palettes, which is awesome I, for most people, not me. <laughs> I'll explain why. And yeah, so you can sign up for early access. This palette is going to launch September 26th. Who remembers when ABH palettes were it? You know, when there was an ABH launch, the whole world would be shooketh. The reveal for this didn't make me feel that way. And I've been pretty positive about the last two palettes at ABH launch, Primrose and Nouveau. I really enjoyed those. So I was looking forward to seeing what their holiday palette was going to be. And it doesn't have that it factor for me. So let's take a look at some other photos that we have. So here is another photo that we have on the ABH website. It's supposed to be 90s inspired. I don't know. I thought it was pretty, but I am not drooling over it. We have some swatches on the arms here. It is quite reminiscent of the Nouveau palette, which was the most recent one, in that it's similar, that it like stays in kind of the same depth range. But I feel like there's a lot of similarities. I don't know if I would even call this the nighttime version of Nouveau or the daytime version, but they look related. They definitely look like sisters. But when I first saw Nouveau, I was like hyperventilating. I, I thought this palette was stunning. It had that it factor for me. This one doesn't, though it does seem very appropriate for fall, right? Rose Quartz here looks really great. It's quite cool tones, but we also have a lot of warm tones as well. So it's that mixture of cool and warm tones, which all of the palettes have been doing lately. But at least this looks different from the Pat McGrath and the Natasha Denona. I don't know, something about reds and cranberries. I, I haven't been using them as often, so I'm not that into them. This palette looks quite deep in the photos. I don't know about in person. I'm not in love with it. I don't know why. I feel like I would be. There's a lot of elements that I like about this palette, but maybe I need to see it in person because I can see this palette being stunning in person when we get into these rich, reflective metallic shades my mind is open to be changed but in terms of what we're working with promo pick wise I'm like eh. I mean this looks prettier like look at this shade I'm obsessed with the way that this shade looks and I feel like this is a palette where when I put it on the eyes I'm really going to enjoy the looks that I can get with it but in pan on the promo pictures I'm just not that excited about it. I don't know why. I mean, I'm excited about it because it's a new ABH palette. But this color story, I mean, coming from Primrose and Nouveau, dare I say a little boring. Oh, here's some more photos here or another video that we have here. Oh, that's not much. <laughs> that was kind of boring. And then here's a promo video. Are we gonna do a makeup look here? Yeah, so they're starting with the ABH dry primer, which is really nice. Okay, okay, thank you. Oh, interesting. Anyways, ooh, that's a technique I've never tried. I'd be too scared to try that. I am much too boring. They're not really doing too much with the palette. They used like one shade. That was underwhelming. Who thought that would be a good idea to post as the first look <laughs> for a palette? They used one shade, but anyways. 
It says that there's 16 looks that they created that we'll be able to see. So I'm gonna head over to trend mood because I feel like they have a little bit of better photos. So here's the first photo that we have. Maybe I'm not liking this palette so much because it's so warm over here and it looks kind of deep and then I feel like I don't ever use colors that look like this. I'm still trying to work out in my mind what I don't like about this. So it looks like we have somebody in store was able to see it. I feel like it's just going to be one of those palettes that are really pretty on the eyes but don't look that exciting in the pan. I have mixed emotions on this. That's what I'll say about that. September 26th, when it comes, yes, I will be shopping it. I will be reviewing it. I definitely want to do a comparison between this palette and Nouveau. Nouveau just looks like the prettier sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. And I don't necessarily think that this palette is ugly. I feel like I have a very negative tone right now about the palette. I think that the palette is pretty. It's giving off fall vibes. But there's like something missing. Maybe it's like a deep, dark chocolate brown and a black. They should have added those at the end. But it is pretty cool that there's going to be more product in each pan. But I wonder what that's going to do with the price as well. Anyways, so because I knew I was unable to collect very good thoughts on this palette, I went to Instagram and you guys are always the best. I knew what I was doing. I told you guys to tell me your thoughts so that we can work through this together. So I'm heading over to my Instagram responses right now. So let's take a look. Early bird gets the worm here. My very first response was, why does it look dirty to me? I kind of get that vibe too, right? <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of looks dirty to me too. I don't know. Okay, I feel like I'm not the only person that's thinking this. Anna said, I can't decide if I like it. That's been my whole grapple with this video. I'm like, do I like it or do I not? Like, it's gonna be pretty, but like, I'm not feeling it. It honestly looks nice and more wearable than the Pat McGrath Holiday Palette definitely more wearable. If you want a holiday palette that's more wearable, this might be a good one for you because this one is definitely going to be wearable. We have those cranberry pops here. So yes, it will be. Boring question mark and the packaging isn't as pretty as the previous palette. Yeah, so the packaging is like a silver packaging. I didn't really get the chance to speak on it, but you saw it in the photos. It's just plain. At least Nouveau has some texture to it. It's plain, but it's holiday-y, I suppose. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's a safe release, in my opinion. Could be an everyday go-to for many. Hit the nail on the head with what I'm thinking. Most definitely don't love it. Don't hate it. It's safe. People are gonna use it. Facts. You guys can really much more eloquently put my thoughts down into words. A combination of at least five ABH palettes, so no. Okay, fair. I mean, I don't necessarily think, like, this palette isn't unique. The only palette that it does make me think of the most is the Nouveau. Like, these look pretty close. But you know what it also gave me vibes of? Is Makeup by Mario, which you can't get anymore, but I got similar vibes from that. Let me know if you did as well. Looks muddy. I think that goes back to the dirty statement. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> nope. Hard pass. Looks redundant. Yeah, you probably do already have these shades in your collection. Oh, but Outlaw Girl said she needs it. So she must like those wearable tones. So happy to hear that you like it. Feels like 2016 ABH is back in a good way. So that's how I felt about the Nouveau palette right here. To me, it felt like ABH brought back a more modernized version of what ABH was back in the day. And even though I'm not dying, living, breathing for this new palette, it still feels like a refresh to me. And I do like that. So my expectations were high for this launch. Obviously, I'm not dropping for joy, but but I'm not disappointed by it because it still feels like a more modernized ABH from back in the day. Hell, it's giving me fall vibes, absolutely. Love the colors, but not the packaging. It is interesting. I mean, I know it's kind of a mixed metal vibe in here with some golds and some cool tones. But yeah, the silver was an interesting choice. It's cute, but it's been done before. Modern Renaissance with fewer darker colors. Modern Renaissance to me screams a little bit more raspberry and bright and red. That was a time though. <laughs> That's quite old school. Why does every picture of it look different? 
They might look different, but I still don't really care for any of the photos, but yeah. We'll never know until we get our hands on it, right? Loved her last palettes and see a lot of same shades here. Just with a more brown color story. Meh. Boring. Why do all the palettes released this fall are the same? I feel like this one is a little different, but at the same time, we still have it in our collection. It looks dirty. Also, in brighter lighting, it looks different. Okay, so we're all agreeing it looks kind of dirty for some reason. Aesthetically pleasing, but boring, and the packaging is ugly. Hope it will be good pigmented. I'm pretty sure it will. ABH always does a good job with that. Looks amazing. Perfect for fall, but I don't need it. Yeah, if you have a large collection, you probably don't need this. I like it. Sultrier than Nouveau. I will agree with that. I particularly like it better than Nouveau, so I'm excited. Awesome! I love that take. You know, it is a more sultry version of Nouveau. It's okay, but I wish it had more mattes. ABH palettes usually have a lot of shimmers. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven metallic-ish shades. We have a satin shade, and then one, two, three, like four true mattes in this palette. So there is definitely an imbalance there. I don't mind that too much. I like ABH's shimmers, but I can see where you're coming from for sure. Underwhelming color story is too repetitive. Definitely fall appropriate. Patty said, hate the packaging, but love the color story. And I'm sure Patty is going to come up with some absolutely stunning, gorgeous, amazing, delicious looks. So if you want somebody who's going to make the palette look good, it's going to be Patty. Hideous. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop this there. <laughs> so generally speaking, I would say within my own shopper drop box where I ask for your, your opinions, I want to say like 70 to 80% of you guys were like, meh, don't need it, it's ugly, it's dirty, eh, average, bleh. And then I, there was like about 20% of you who really, really liked it. So it'll be interesting to see this in person. I'm telling you, I have strong feelings in that while I am not moved yet. Under the right lighting and in person, this could move me. So I will let you know. I would definitely be picking this up and reviewing it on September 26th. I, of course, will be posting my links once it's available as well. Comment down below your thoughts on this palette. Are you picking it up? And also questions that you want me to cover in my review. What palettes do you want me to compare this to? What do you need to know? Help me help you. These videos are always a great resource to make my reviews better for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and somewhat entertaining. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the review on this in the future. All right, bye guys. Have a good one.